What's going on guys? Today I am on an 825. I'm on a Paul Schmidt board um, and this is actually the exact same board that you will have seen if you follow uh, Ben DeGroe. He just posted a video of himself with uh, Paul Schmidt at the factory uh, down in Mexico. So this is the exact board that he was holding. It's a neighborhood board by Julio de la Cruz pressed by Paul Schmidt. Uh, so yeah, it's an 825. This is my third session on it. And honestly, I'm almost, I'm hesitant to say it, but I think it might be my favorite board I've set up so far. Um, but before we talk more about the board, uh, I'm at UBC. The park's not far from here. Gonna go check it out and uh, get a warm up in and talk more about the board. So yeah, let's go skate. Got my uh, death lens on today, so we're gonna get some clips of Myro and some homies, maybe Anderson. You guys haven't seen him on the channel yet, he rips. Uh, and then we'll get into the board. Oh, Damn, he locked in toe side on that. That's crazy. Thanks. <laughs> I hope I caught that. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! If you guys have been keeping up my videos, the last board that I skated was an 8-inch board and previous to that I was on an 8.3 for about two years. 
and I found that the 8 inch, although it was fun and playful, it didn't allow for enough foot room, um, seeing as I have 11 size feet. But now being on an 825, thank you Ben for hooking me up with this board, um, it's actually like the perfect size. And I'll put the dimensions here as I'm talking, because um, I don't want to go too far into it, because I did make a previous video of me setting this up, and I kind of measured it all and, and kind of went into more detail. But one thing that I, that I did really realized and really liked about this is that the nose is like a perfect size. I do a lot of nose slides, so if you'd like doing nose slides and flip tricks, switch tricks, they just felt really kind of poppy and quick and they came up to my feet quite nice and it felt quite familiar. Funny enough, at first I found the shape of the nose was actually a little kind of strange to me, but I find when you're changing board shapes, it always kind of looks weird looking down at a new board and it only really takes like a session um, for you to get used to it. Um, but yeah, I really like this board. It's, it's super fun. I hope we can get some more because um, I would really like to be skating these. Um, but I do have a couple 838s uh, ready to go in stock. Actually, I have one right here. I have this anti-hero. I think it's an 838. Yeah, um, I don't think I've ever skated an anti-hero board, but I probably won't be setting this up for a few weeks seeing as I've only skated this um, PS Sticks board for like three sessions now. Uh, today was my third session. I don't know if you guys saw Ben's video, but Paul Schmidt goes into more detail about uh, the, the way that this board is shaped and the fact that it has rockers. So rockers are like, um, basically there's like a shape in the middle of the board here, which almost gives it like a flex. Um, and I could honestly, I could feel like a little more snap with my tricks and um yeah i got used to it really quick so i really liked it um but yeah that's it i'm tired i need to go home and eat and drink some water i uh, hope you guys are doing well and we'll catch you in the next one peace